Hey y'all, I'm here today with another plan with me from December 19th to the 25th and I will be using the Christmas morning kit from the Paperly Boutique. So I just have the date cover-ups which I went ahead and put the date dots on with the days so I can I don't have to worry about doing that. And the plan with me, I already have it done. And then I have the glitter headers the two main page kit that has all of your like functional items that you need on it the full boxes little things and ombre heart checklist so i am going to first go ahead and put the bottom washi down So I'm going to do this first and then I am going to do my um, Christmas countdowns, which I didn't do it in last week's spread and not that I forgot, but rather I knew it just wouldn't fit with the spread that I did because if you saw last week's, it was all like silver and gold. So I figured the colors and the spread and the colors of the Christmas countdown would not have gone well together and there is also no room to even put the countdown in and I didn't even have room on the on my inserts so the days that were like right in here I let my mom use those but I'm just going to put the rest of these down here at the bottom underneath the washi so we just have six days five days I'm actually going to move this one over a little bit if I can peel it up there we go Five days, four, right, I need to fix this piece of, okay, there we go. It was kind of bubbling in the middle. Then we have three days. Two days, one day, and then the It's Christmas right here. So I have all of the countdown completed and this was from Creating & Co. I don't know if I mentioned that, so I have that completed. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the weekend banner and I'm going to put it down right here at the bottom. I'm actually going to lift up the ends because I know I am going to be putting stuff to fill up this entire day on Sunday. So I know the weekend banner, I don't want to cover any of that up. So I'm putting it down here. And then I think what I'm going to do next is I think I'm actually going to put date cover, do the date cover ups first and get that over with. No, I'm not going to 
do any color blocking with the because I have glitter headers I'm not going to do any color blocking I'm just going to do one color straight across each row like instead of a different color in each column it will be a different color like the top row will be all red, middle row, middle row will be all gold, and then the bottom will be all green. So I already, I already have the colors that I want to use picked out. does feel weird with the left side being gigantic and then the right side being very small. Which of course whenever I get into my new planner it will be the opposite where the left side will be really small and the right side will be really big. So I have the um date cover ups down and then I'm going to take the glitter headers and I'm going to take the red ones and put those right underneath the glitter header or not the glitter header under the glitter header but the glitter header under the date cover up and then for this week I'm going to use the single heart checklist instead of the ombre heart checklist because I'm going to save the ombre heart checklist for the sidebar. So I can hopefully have a full sized sidebar instead of just having like one checklist or or instead of just having a couple things and having a ton of white space so I wanted to try that out to see how I liked it so I have the red glitter headers down and then I am going to grab excuse me I'm going to grab the checklist Ooh, again excuse me and then I'm not going to color block the days but I am going to color block the checklist to the color that is in the date cover up and it just so happens that the colors and the or the orders of the colors of the date cover-ups are the same order of the checklist which is really nice because then it makes it easy to go in order of of putting the colors down except for the dark green and the red are switched but everything else is the same order And like I was mentioning about the right side of the planner being really small, that makes it harder to put item, not items, put stickers down on Thursday because you're having to work against the coil and, sorry, it went down crooked. And it isn't, the page isn't as high up. So it is a lot harder to the Friday is really crooked. So 
So it is, like I said, a lot harder to put stickers down on Thursday. Actually, I don't need the checklist for Sunday because I just remembered I was putting, I'm going to be doing three full boxes on Sunday. So now that I have that down and Friday is and bothering me really bad that it's not staying down, but like I just mentioned I'm going to put I'm going to be putting three different full boxes down on Sunday so I think I am going to go ahead and do that <coughs> oh, excuse me so I have these full boxes here and then I have the leftover full boxes the Chris Christmas vacation full boxes from Planner Penny, and then I also have the full boxes from A Christmas Story, also from Planner Penny as well, that I'm going to be using the bottom one down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that off to the side, and then I'm going to take the full box right up here that says nobody's walking out on this fun old-fashioned Griswold family Christmas no no we're all in this together which is a really long quote <laughs> I'm just going to put this up at the top Hopefully I can put this down straight. There we go. And then I'm going to take the gold glitter header and put it right there. just to have the glitter header down and then I'm, I'm going to take this red box right here and then just put that not crooked but I'm going to put that right underneath right there and then I'm going to grab the green glitter header and just put that right underneath and then I am going to take I'm going to take the candy cane full box and just put that right not right there I'm going to put this to peel this part of the weekend banner up and then, then I'm going to put that down there and then I have the deco and half box page from the spread that I did last week and I mentioned I was going to save the Merry Christmas quote on it for this week so I'm just going to put that right there and there's a little bit hanging off which I can trim that later on so I just have the couple of half boxes that are left on that page but back to the rest of the regular planning I am going to finish up the full boxes and then I'll put the glitter headers on top so I'm going to take the 
quote box down in the corner from the Christmas Story quote set. And this one just says, ho ho, but no matter what, Christmas was on its way. Lovely, glorious, beautiful Christmas upon which an upon which the entire kid year revolved, which I thought would be nice to put down for Christmas Eve. And then I have that down. I'm going to take the gold glitter header and put it right there and then I'm just going to take the rest of the full boxes and I have it planned which full box I want to go where so I think I'm just going to work backwards since I already did Sunday and Saturday I'll just move on to Friday and then the rest of the days If I can get the full boxes on straight without messing them up. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just going to have to leave that one. And then Thursday we'll have the poinsettias and candy cane. Wednesday we'll have the other poinsettia. Tuesday has the Gingerbread Man. And then Monday has the Snowflakes. And then I do have a quote box that I'm going to put up in the corner, which I'm going to grab that now. And it just says, all is calm, all is bright. So let me see if I can get this on straight. Get that one on pretty well. And then the last full box, I can either use that for washi or I can save it for my inserts. Inserts, that came out weird inserts so I will figure out what to do with that later and then I am going to take the rest of the gold glitter headers and just put those right on top of the full boxes I'm also going to try and put them as straight as I can get them which as long as they aren't super crooked, I'm not too concerned with them being perfectly straight. Okay, come on, header. But I'm going to finish putting the gold headers down and then I think I'm going to hold off on the green headers because I don't know if I want to put them right underneath the full boxes like the header covering up the header right here or if I want to do little things and then put them on top of there I haven't decided yet but what I think I'm going to do now is to do my little things so I am going to take 
the meal icons and I'm going to go ahead and put one on Saturday just so I can put the little corner of the weekend banner down and then I'm going to put the rest of the meal little things down for the other days which I don't think I'm going to put a male little thing down for Sunday. I think I'm just going to leave Sunday how it is and not add anything else to it. Okay, do you want to go down straight or not? Okay, there we go. And then I just have the one food little thing that I'm not putting down on Sunday. And I think I am going to trim this little bit. It was hanging off. And I have no idea where it flew off to. That is great, as long as it doesn't cause my pages to get stuck together, that is okay. But I have all of my meal, all of my meal little things down, and then I am going to, I think I want to do videos next. And I think for that, I'm going to use the TV show, not TV shows, TV icons. So I have three videos going up. This week I have one on Monday, Thursday, And then Saturday. And then along with that, I am going to take the two camera little things and I'm going to put one on Monday. And I'm going to put one on Saturday. And then I'm going to take a one of the gold checklist or check marks, not checklist, and put that on Thursday. And the two cameras and the checklist will be for Instagram. And then I'm looking at my list of things for each day to make sure I don't miss anything. And then because some things I'm going to, I'm going to use like half boxes for. So Monday, I'm going to take the car little thing and that will be for, be for driving back from the wedding, which I'm actually filming this on Friday instead of Sundays like I normally do because the wedding is on a Sunday. And then I'm going to take the gold credit card and put it on Tuesday 
for a bill that is due. Then I'm going to take the gold spray bottle and put it on Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, which color do I want to do? I actually think I'm going to take this dark green checklist and then I'm going to cut off as about as straight and probably crooked as I can the top two hearts and put this down right there and yes of course it came out crooked and then I'm going to take the spray bottle cleaning icon little thing and Put that right there and this will be my cleaning list for Wednesday and then I have the video for Thursday and then I am going to take the little shopping cart little thing and put that on Friday for any last minute shopping we have and then Saturday I have everything I need down as far as little things, but I am going to grab a movie night sticker from Creating Co. And I think I am going to use the red one. So I'm just going to put that down. Let me see, can I straighten these up? Okay, that is a little bit better. And I have the movie night, movie night sticker down on Saturday because a lot of Christmas movies are going to be on that day, so that is a good day to have a movie night. So next, I think I am going to go ahead and do my sidebar really quick and then finish all the stuff for the rest of the days. Okay, so for my sidebar, I have this little sampler from the Paperly Boutique that has a gold habit tracker that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it right up at the top right there and then I am going to take the workouts header and put it right underneath. The habit tracker just to take up a tiny bit of space and then I'm going to take the red ombre or weekly ombre checklist and put that right underneath because I figured oh, that's crooked Okay, that's as good as I'm going to be able to get it, but I figured I'm going to start trying it out now and I kind of have been trying it out, but I am just going to be doing my workouts Monday through Friday instead of every seven, each of the seven days. I'm just going to do it during the week part and then rest on the weekends. So I just need a Monday through Friday weekly ombre, which is really nice that she just has the Monday through Friday in her kits. And then next I think I am going to do a 
this week. So I'm going to, I am going to first off try and straighten up the header that went down crookedly. And then I am going to take another red ombre and put it down but let me peel this up and look let me I don't need the countdown peeling up let me readjust that header and then put that down which I don't know if it's the checklist that is crooked or the header but that is completely okay with me it is not too too bothersome and then I am going to do I think I'm going to do a to do header just take that and then I'm going to take the last red checklist to, just to keep things kind of the same and then I'm just going to put this down here and I'm trying to cover up the blue that is down at the bottom which there's like the teeny tiniest bit of the blue down there but I am not too concerned with that and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this gold piece of washi and then just do the trick that I have seen a bunch of planner youtubers do and if I can get it on straight and just put a piece of washi down at the bottom to cover up the last heart checklist and then just cut off the excess which I kind of cut a little bit of the page but that is okay So I have the sidebar down and then on to day by day stuff. So Monday I have the plan with me down, the coming back and then I'm actually going to, where are the glitter headers? I'm actually going to take the glitter headers and put those down really quickly just so I have those down and I'm glad I didn't put them down where the regular headers are I'm glad I waited And then the other green header, or green colored glitter header that is left, I will fix Thursday in a second, but the other green color that is left could work in like the springtime or sometime like in March because it is a lot brighter. <clears throat> Excuse me, it is a lot brighter of a green than the dark green is. So that is why I didn't use that one. But, whew, it's 
excuse me, for Monday, I'm going to take the gingerbread half box and instead of a gingerbread house, we are actually doing a gingerbread train. So I'm going to put the half box that has the gingerbread in it, the, or the gingerbread man in it. If I can peel this up, come on. Okay, can I get you straighter? Okay, there we go. But I'm going to use the half box that set that has the gingerbread man in it to mark building the gingerbread house. So I think is there that is not the functional sheet. I think I'm gonna hold off on the icons real quick because I don't know if I want to use an icon to mark it or not. So that is it for Monday for Tuesday. I need to grab my wash hair stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design and I am going to take the two pink ones. So I have one on Tuesday and I'm going to put this one down here and then I have one for Saturday that I'm going to put right there. And then now back to Tuesday, I have the fill do down, the wash hair, and then I need to mark two different things. So I think first thing I'm going to mark is I'm going to take this red patterned half box. I'm going to put that down. And then I'm going to take the, actually I'm going to take the balloons instead of the balloon icon. And I'm going to put them right there and that will be to mark my dog Gigi's birthday. And then I am going to take a, I think I'm going to do a gold little thing. I think I'm just going to take the one that has the phone on it. I'm going to put that down and I'm not too concerned with the green header showing through because there is green in this spread. But I'm going to do that and then I'm going to take the little camera and put that right there for filming the plan with me that is going up on Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have that down and that is everything for Tuesday. Yes. And then Wednesday, that is all done. Thursday, I have the So Much Crafting thing with me. And then I have Bake Cookies. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just this red, plain red half box and put it down there. And then I think I am going to No, I don't want to do that. I think again, I'm going to pass on the icons for baking cookies because the only food one is red and the half box is red. But what I am going to do actually is I'm going to take the little garbage can icon and put that up 
at the top on Thursday for garbage and recycle and recycle day and it should be coming on Thursday because it's not a holiday on that day and what I'm actually going to do is take the little kettlebell and put it up there for the workouts for my habit tracker and I think that is everything for Thursday, Friday. I have the shopping down and then I'm going to take the, actually I'm not going to take the dark green, I'm going to take the light green and I'm actually going to grab the gold glitter washi and I'm going to put the half box right there and then I am going to oh, here it is I think I am going to use the meal icon right there for making Chex Mix and then Saturday it's Christmas Eve I already had to wash hair down I have the plan with me going up and then I have the movie night sticker so the only thing I have left to do is just to put a little piece of washi down. I was trying to see if I peeled up the piece that was down here, if it would work, but it won't work. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is just take the bigger piece and Trim off very crookedly a piece of the a piece from the biggest piece of gold washi. So I have that down, and then Sunday is of course obviously completed. And I'm making sure I don't have anything else that I need to mark down. I think that is everything that I want to put down for right now. Although actually... Probably Saturday I'm going to need to film these spreads for next week because... Or like the week after this one because I won't want to do that while Christmas is going on on Sunday so I think I am going to take the gold planner and then I'm going to grab I'm gonna do the green I want to do the bigger flag or do I want to do the little flag? I think I'm going to do the bigger flag. So I'm just going to take this and cover up the top two hearts, which it isn't covering up exactly. And then I'm just going to put the little Actually, let me peel that up real quick if it will peel up. There it goes. I'm going to take the camera icon and the planner, put the two of them together, and then put that down like that. So now I think that is everything 
for this week's spread. I really like how, how I was able to get a full sidebar down, which in the neutral planner, the all of this will be moved down, so I probably won't even need the last box. But I really like how this turned out and how it it's full, but it's not... Like, to me, it isn't cluttered full. To other people, it might seem very cluttered and chaotic, but I like how it turned out. And if you liked it as well, you can hit the like button or the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this and you haven't already subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button down below as well. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!